Okay, so if you guys remember, the other video I made was of a GE air conditioner, 8,000 BTUs, uh, brand new, and even this window. That thing was pathetic, okay? I, I wanted to use it. I liked the unit. It didn't work well. It was always either cold and damp in here, because the thing never ran long enough to dry out the, the, the uh, air, or it was dry, but it was hot because the thing, it had two ways to go. If it was fairly cool, like maybe 70 to 80 degrees outside and damp, like raining, it would run long enough to cool the air, but the thermostat went on, it was so oversensitive, it used to cycle the thing on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off so much. And the damn thing would never cool the fucking house. It would get cool. The air would be cool, but the actual house wouldn't be cool. And it would be damp in here because it wasn't running long enough. And it would fucking cycle on and off every couple minutes. It was ridiculous. Um, the other one, you could also see light coming in through here in the vents. Uh, yeah. Side panels were extremely weak. So I figured, you know what, I've had enough. And and then the, the final straw was when it was 85 degrees outside. And it was pretty muggy, I'll give it that. It was a pretty disgusting day. It was, uh... The thing was running all day. High fan, I had set to 72. I wasn't home. I came back, it was, it, the fucking display said it was 79 degrees in here. And it, it could not get it any cooler. Could not get it any cooler. So, I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna install the older one. So here's what replaced it. This is a 19, uh, 2000 WCI Kenmore. Or White Consolidated Industries is who manufactured this unit. Just like the ones in the two bedrooms, now that all three units in our house are WCI. Small house. You don't need a huge air conditioner out in this area. Here's the information. It's a little dirty. I'm gonna clean that. That's actually tape residue that I couldn't get off. I'm gonna clean it a little bit. It's not in perfect shape. I replaced the side panels. I got those ones you get at Home Depot that you cut and stick on. They, I've never had a problem with those over the years. The only thing with these is they're a little annoying because of these little things here. So you have to bend these out of the way. But otherwise, they, they seem to work pretty well. Uh, the front panel off of another unit. The front panel on this is heavily yellowed and damaged. This was broken, so I found this one that's not broken anymore. Evaporator. It had some vent fins, so I straightened them out. They don't work perfect, but they work fine. Had some vent feature. These units have a two-step vent. You can have uh, intake air or exhausting air. My only, my only complaint about this unit is this. This rattles a little bit. It seems to be common on these higher BTU small units. Yeah, yeah, I gotta clean this out. It's just kind of there. It's dusty. But I washed out the unit, actually, from the front panel. It was, it was sitting. It was clean at one point, but it was sitting around for a while and it got kind of dusty. Um, I'm gonna seal it up a little better. Just run the duct. I didn't seal fully up because I didn't know how it was gonna work out. I had to glue this. These are common on these. these off, so you just put a little super glue behind it and it's fine. I did it to the other one, the 5600. I, I used to have in my bedroom. Um, that's not in perfect condition. This one takes seven and a half amps. The other one took uh, six. So it is gonna be a li it is a little less efficient. But the fact is that it's 90 fucking three degrees outside and very humid outside and the thing's running. It's keeping it at 70. Um, it doesn't have the readout unless it's on fan only. But I can do that. medium, low, auto, all the buttons work, timer, it's 
it's clean. I cleaned it all out. I resealed uh, around it. It's got a stainless steel. It has a styrofoam air duct, but a stainless steel or a galvanized steel uh, barrier between these. And if you've never seen the inside of one of these, uh, there's a couple. I, I might. I'm gonna take one of these apart and show the inside of one of these at one point. Uh. Yeah, like I said, not perfect condition. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Cord doesn't get worn. The plug's in perfect shape. I'm going to give it a couple minutes, and then I'll restart it so you can hear it. It is a little loud. I feel like it's a little loud. It's actually about the same as the GE, but the tone on this one's a little less annoying. Because you don't hear the condenser fan on this thing. The other one, you heard the condenser fan because it wasn't sealed. It was just styrofoam. This one, you don't really hear the condenser fan, the outside noise too much. Maybe a little bit of water slinging around every once in a while. And this one actually has a drain hole. The GE used to fucking overfill, even though the unit's tilted out. And don't say I don't know what I'm doing, because I've been putting in window units for years. I've never had one leak. I've had these things all my life. Never had one leak until um, that, that GE. And what happened is it was fine. But when it would rain, it would fill up and it would overflow into the unit. And it didn't leak around the unit or around the window. What happened is it used to leak. Water used to uh, pool up in the evaporator blower housing and it would start splatting water out of the vents. And that was the final straw. That and the thing couldn't keep cool. I mean, it's an 80 fuck, a 90 fucking three degree day. And this unit is in the sun mo at least most of the day. And it's perfectly cool and dry in here. And the thing's been cycling on and off. It hasn't been running non-stop. Which is nice. A little bit of tape here. Like I said, it's not in perfect cosmetic condition. I'll fix this later. I have to get some more super glue. But it does work just fine. This is actually the common problem on these units is these peel off. So, I'm going to wait a couple minutes and let it restart. I think it's been three minutes, so let's turn it on. See that's the indoor temperature, and that's only because I turned it off. And the power saver on this one actually cycles the fan on and off, you know, like a unit should. Right, let's just turn it down. There we go. There's the compressor. And it's already ice cold. This thing was sitting for a month, a few months outside without being touched. And I, I put it in the window, started up. I literally turned it on, and within 10 seconds, it was it was cold within about two or three seconds. Within about 10 seconds, it was ice cold. And the heat coming off the back on this thing you know, gets nice and warm pretty quick. This is an R22 unit, so yeah, it's a real unit, American made. Can't go wrong. I'll deal with the fact that you're using an extra amp and a half to run than the old, than the uh, GE. Because unlike the GE, this one keeps my house cool. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. And this is part two of this video. Um, this thing. Okay. It's now about 88, 87 degrees or so out here. Um, here's the GE that was in the window where the Kenmore is. Uh, it does still run just fine. There's really nothing wrong with it per se. But it just does not do a very good job at what it's supposed to do. Now I'll hit the stickers on this side. Here's the information on it. It's got about three months worth of not even. Eh, probably about three months worth of use on it. Um, it's been sitting. It was sitting out here for a couple months, so the, and the sun is hitting it here, and it's yellowed so badly. Like over here, it's fine. Up here, it's okay. You can see it starts getting a little dark, and over here, it's just yellow. It's almost as yellow as the front of this one. This one's supposed to be yellowed. Um, this one's not a white front cover. It's an off-white, yellowish, pinkish color. Um, this one's also from fucking 1999, so it's older. And it was used until last year. So, and it still works just fine. Um, side panels, I'm just gonna rant off some things I don't like about it. First of all, this thing's pretty noisy. Um, 
it looks okay. It doesn't look that bad. I like, one thing I really do like about this thing, I do like how it reads out the current temperature. And I like how when you take the filter out, the whole front cover can come can lift away so you can clean the coils, which is nice. Um, the Kenmore does open, but it's hard to get the front off. Uh, side panels, I don't like the, these wrecking things. These are, seem very flimsy. They're not that bad, honestly, but they're not great. They're not as bad as the ones on the ones on the. And I've seen some worse ones, but they're not that great. They don't really seal very well in the frame. That's my main complaint about the side panel. And the frame itself feels very cheap. The webbing itself in the middle it seems fairly okay. But it's the frame feels very cheap and doesn't seal quite right. And it is what it is. Uh, I don't like how these new units now. If you look in this. And there's the condenser fan. You can see the evaporator fans in there. Compressor. This is the outside. Right here. From here back would be the outside. I don't like how... Hold on. I got a flashlight now. Um... See, the only thing separating... You can see the styrofoam on the outside. And the only thing separating the inside and the outside is a literally... It's not the same styrofoam like packing material, but it is still styrofoam. It's thicker, it's stronger, it's higher density, but it's still styrofoam that's literally separating the inside and the outside. Also, something else I don't really like, this thing's got three months worth of use on it, and the condenser is already starting to rot a little bit. You can't really see. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up at all. Probably not, but you're going to have to trust me on this. But the condenser sits in the water at the bottom. It's already got that, that white uh, corrosion on it. And if the thing was a few years old, like I'd let I'd understand it's fine, but three months were the use. It was never installed for more than a month. Or more than three months. It was installed for a month right before I moved, then I moved here and it was installed for two months. Ridiculous. Here's a condenser off an identical unit from nine, uh, from uh, that was a year old when it uh, failed. I got it along with my 96 Kenmore 6200 BTU, same place. This one was a, the manufacturing date was um, January of 2017. Yeah, January of 2017, and. It was May of 2018 when I took it apart. It had no Freon in it anymore. Look at this. This is just rusted. This is all, this is starting to rust through a little bit in places. Look at this, just rust. Un unacceptable. And this is where the water sits. You can see there's just white corrosion on it, so that's what I'm talking about. Now the unit does work okay. Um, I have, a, the fan motor is just, is no brand on it. I actually had the fan motor from the other one, I held on to it. And the fact is, this thing is so cheap that the fucking fan motor doesn't even... The, the, the data label has fucking chinglish on it, okay? Look at that. Fan asynchronism motor for room air condition. Yeah, it's the same motor that's in there, you can see. But, nope, wrong way. It is what it is. And this is why these fail. This is why the bearings in these get noisy. They're ball bearing motors, which is fine. See, on this side, we have a little seal. And how the seal works is, you know, the fan runs. Oh, this one is different, actually. Look at that. Okay, basically, it has this plastic sh cover over it with a little hole in the bottom so any water that gets in can drip out. And this one actually has an actual seal. And this one has a lip seal on it, which is even better. Uh, other ones just have a little rubber washer in there, and the water, when it runs into the shaft, it would spray off and drip out the bottom. Now on the back side, it has this little rubber thing. It does not have a seal though, an actual lip seal on this side. And this seals against the styrofoam. The problem is it's styrofoam, and it's not 
a fucking smooth surface. So water gets in around the seal, goes right into that bearing, and it's always the inside bearing on these motors that gets that goes bad. That's what happens. The one in my uh, ball bearing, the, the, the air conditioner in my bedroom, which is a uh, 2002 WCI Frigidaire, has a ball bearing motor. The other two don't, but that one does. And that one's sealed properly. It has a cover over the back bearing as well. So that way water can't get into it. So those bearings will last a lot longer. Um, Queen Gun compressor. I've never had bad luck with it. This thing's already got rust forming, okay? Look at that. This is just unacceptable. The case on, yeah, it's nice that it's lighter weight, but the case on this thing is so flimsy. Look at this. And it doesn't work that well. Yeah, being an efficient air conditioner is great, but it has to run fucking constantly to keep up with anything, and it still starts to slip. The vent control, I like the, I don't know, I've always liked the little ball on the end of these. But, and the vent controls, I always liked how they, they are pretty smooth running. But, and I like how smooth it is to move this up and down, but this thing's so cheap though. Look at this. I think twist. And it has so much play in it. The remote works, but you have to point it like directly at the fucking thing. Uh... It's just all around a cheap, low-quality unit that's not going to last more than a couple of years. Um, even when it's in the window, the bottom lip does not seal fully against the bottom of the unit. This is the top of this one, but it does not seal fully. And it's just this little thin piece of metal. Look at this. Why is this camera not being... The camera's really having problems focusing recently that it's just a thin piece of metal and when you put it in the window this kind of pushes back a little bit and crushes a little bit this is essentially the same thing as the one I put in with a different front cover on it and mechanical controls and it's so hot out here this isn't even gonna click off and this one works fine this one's got some rust in it and some coil rot but it's allowed to because it's fucking 20 years old um, yeah it works it blows cool, it dries out the air. The electronic thermostat's way oversensitive, so it cycles the thing on and off so much, or it just runs constantly. Energy saver, it works fine until it turns off, and it doesn't turn the fucking fan back on to circulate air in the room like the Kenmore does. And even LGs do this. And LGs are pretty crappy too, but the older LGs were okay in my opinion. I have had a couple of older ones that lasted a very long time. But the new ones suck, and you know, the thing with recirculate air, every like few minutes they turn the fan on low or something or whatever, usually low. The LGs it's on low, I think with the, the uh, WCIs it's just whatever speed it's set to. It'll run the fan for a couple minutes, for like 30 seconds every few minutes, circulate the air if it gets warm, more than one degree over what it's set at, it turns it on. This thing doesn't do that. I never heard it cycle on until the thermostat was satisfied. And the first problem I had with it was because this thing, the thermocouple right there, was touching the evaporator, so I pulled it back. So it worked a little better, but it didn't really help. I'm just, I had a 6400 V2 version of this, and that one seemed to work okay. And then I got a good deal on this. Yeah, this one doesn't work okay. The 6400 seemed to work fine. I never had a problem with that one. But this one I've had nothing but problems with. It's just annoying. I'm not going to throw it out. I'm probably going to sell it. It's a good unit. Maybe like it's a good working unit. It's just not a great unit. Maybe if it was in like a brand new house with brand new insulation and not in direct sunlight, it wouldn't have a problem cooling. I don't know. But it seems like these things are hit or miss. Or maybe if it was fucking analog controls like this one I could pro it would probably be fine because the actual system seems to work okay it is a little underpowered but it does work okay uh, whatever I'm done with it I'm not gonna throw it out because it's pretty well still new I'm gonna see if I can sell it maybe this year or next year see if I can turn it around for a hundred bucks or something 
clean it up a little bit for the little bit of dirt that is on it, but whatever. Another thing, this thing doesn't have a drain hole, so when it rained, they like said the uh, evaporator blower filled up with water it was tilted out slightly. It has no drain hole in it at all. And I get they have a slinger fan, but guess what? They've been do putting slinger fans in window units and wall units since the fucking 50s, okay? They, they, every unit pretty much has some variation on it. Even the carry cools, it has a little tube in front of the fan that sucks water into the fan. This has a drain hole in it. It still has a slinger fan. And uh, has no problem. What happens is it starts slinging water. And when it gets full, it starts dripping out, even when the slinger is still going through the water. That's fine. This thing doesn't have that, so it just fills up with water and it doesn't have anywhere to dump the water anymore. And the base pan is so fucking high on this thing. Actually. No, yeah, it doesn't. No, no, it does have a drain hole. I was wrong. There's a drain hole right in here. But. Things an inch off the bottom of it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, no, it, it needs to be a little lower on these units. I get the slinger fan design, but you can have a unit that fills with enough water to sling water, but drain in a storm efficiently. The hole's literally the size of a fucking pea. <laughs> a little bit of dirt that's going to get clogged up instantly. So, yeah, I'm just not happy with it. On the uh, WCIs, the hole's like this big, about that big. They don't get clogged up easily. This one will get clogged up the second it gets dirty. So I was wrong about that, but it's still kind of a shitty design. China strikes again. Could have been a good unit, has potential, but it's never gonna be.